Yes, my people, so today I'm gonna cook up a loop in the style of like Rilo Rodriguez or Huncho, something nice and smooth and simple, and let's get straight into it. <laughs> I'm gonna start this one with this lo-fi piano. It's called uh, Lo-Fi Keys. Give this one a more vintage feel. I've just exported that um, MIDI we played out and then I've pitched it up by two and now it sounds like this. I'm going to put that some effects on it now. Okay, let's put a reverb on it. put some tape effects on it. I'm gonna add some vocals straight away. So a couple of weeks ago, my boy Kofi come to the studio and recorded some vocals. So I'm gonna use some of them. Um, if you like them, let me know and we might drop it as a pack for you guys. But yeah, let's get some vocals. Start with this one. Let's put some effects on on them vocals. We'll start with a reverb. I'm gonna do a room reverb, give it that nice feeling. Okay, I've just gone through, I've added this accent and some chimes, so it sounds like this now. So I'm going to copy this over, and the first thing I'll do is make this unique, and pitch that down an octave. And then I'm going to put it on its own mixer track because it's going to be super muddy. So now we've pitched it down an octave. I'm going to put some more effects on it. I'm going to start with a chorus. So next I've just pitched up the vocals so they're exactly the same. Just pitched up one octave so they sound like this now. Next 
Next, I'm going to add this uh, hard double bass from Expand, just following the root notes. Next, to fill out some space, I decided this uh, perk loop sounds like this. The next sound I'm going to add is this bell from Analog Lab. And it sounds like this with the effects on it. Next, I've just added this cyan pad just to fill out that extra space in the back. What we've done for this pad is we've taken the original chords and we just copied it up an octave just so it's a bit thicker. Um, and that sounds like this. Now, all together, we've got this. <laughs> So I think this is done. I want to leave enough room for the drums to go crazy on this one. Rilo normally uses like a bit more simpler uh, loops as well. So we'll leave it at that. And I'm going to export this and pitch it around and see, see what we can find. All right, so I've pitched it up from 75 BPM to 92. And then I've pitched it down 100 cents. And now we've got this. <laughs> Yeah, man that's the final loop i hope you enjoyed this one nice simple simple loop if you liked it let me know and yeah i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>